Before we look at publishing this dashboard, there are some other options we need to consider, namely interaction, export, and slide options. Firstly, interaction options. As well as the various interactivity objects we added in the previous video, dashboard viewers have the option to interact with the queries themselves by simply clicking and selecting an element within a visualization. Let's start by clicking here and selecting Filter Others. When I do so, my entire dashboard will be filtered by that selection. I can choose to return to the initial view. And I can filter others only, which means that all of the queries except for the one that I clicked on will be filtered by that selection. Next up, we have Decompose. I can choose, in this case, from Product Container or Sales Channel. When I select my Decompose, this query where I've clicked will be decomposed by that selection. There are other types of decomposition as well, such as the Decompose Path, which has been specified in this query, which decomposes directly from month into day We have the option to focus as well. So here I can select different columns and choose focus. And finally, we have the option to drill through, which would export the underlying data for that particular selection in CSV format. Another interaction option that we can make available is widget slides, which means that we can have a slideshow of all of the different widgets in full screen. These different interaction options can be activated and deactivated from this button here. We also have export options available. We can allow Excel, image, PDF, and even single query export from here. And then with the slide options, we can choose the order in which these slides will appear in the slideshow. And we can also remove any unwanted widgets.